Hey guys, Ramesh here. Welcome back to React Hooks Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Series. In this video, let's go and let's build Delete Employee REST API. Let's go to Employee Controller. Within Employee Controller, let me quickly write the comment over here. Build Delete Employee REST API. Let's write public and let's use response entity as a return type and this is generic class so let's pass http status as a type let's give method name as delete employee and just pass a method argument id all right now we want to check whether our employee record is exist in a database with this given id or not for that let me declare employee object here and let's call employee repository and then find by id method just pass the id all right and just call or else throw method well or else throw method internally uses supplier functional interface so we're gonna use lambda expression to implement supplier interface so go ahead and use lambda expression now new and then just create object of resource not found exception and just pass a custom error message over here the employee not exist with id and just pass the id as argument perfect now we have just added a condition just to check whether employee is exist with a given id or not if employee does not exist then this will throw a resource not found exception well now go ahead and use employee repository dot it provides the delete and delete by id method so now we have employee object so we can call delete method and we can pass a employee object to this delete method so that this delete method will delete a record from the database and look at here the return type it doesn't return anything okay why it is a return type so go ahead and choose this method and just pass the employee object to it so this will delete a employee record from the database all right now go ahead and just return status code new and then response entity and here in a body we pass http status dot no content all right so we're not returning anything to client hence we're just passing http status as no content all right now we have created a method that is delete employee method let's make this method as a rest api by adding annotation so let's go ahead and let's use add delete mapping annotation and we need to pass id as a template variable and we need to bind the value of this id to method argument for that let's go ahead and let's use add path variable annotation okay now we have completed delete employee rest api let's go ahead and let's test this rest api using postman client let me start the spring boot application all right our spring boot application is up and running let's head over to postman rest client and let's create a new request to test this rest api and here make sure that you choose delete http method over here and we're gonna use the url http localhost 8000 api slash v1 slash employees and we need to pass the id in the url for example here i am passing id 1 to delete a employee with id 1 okay so go ahead and click on send and there we go we got a status code 204 it means that a employee with id 1 is suc deleted successfully in order to verify this we can make a get employee by id rest api call so i am going to hit the send button and there we go not found it means that employee one is not exist in database because we have just deleted it right let me delete one more employee let me pass two and hit send button and there we go we got a status code 204 and let me verify it by using get employee by id rest api so this is the get so i am going to pass id 2 and hit send button there we go there we go not found okay it means that 
our delete employer rest api is working as expected in next video we are going to see how we can consume this delete employer rest api in our react application all right i will see you in next video